Zayn is an Ninjago character who's pretty beloved by people who watch the show. This is something I completely agree with. In those first four seasons of Ninjago, Zayn was an absolutely spectacular character who probably got consistently the best character work the show had to offer back in the day. But at some point, unfortunately, Zayn kind of just fell off. After a super compelling four season long arc about finding his humanity and discovering who he is, development wise, Zayn's character started to take a backseat, which usually would be completely fine. Lloyd, for example, after his arc going through season 8 to 11, took a backseat in the rest of the 11 minute seasons, at least before crystallized, and I didn't take issue with that. The problem with Zayn is that one, his character development kind of never picked back up, which definitely sucks, but my real issue is flanderization. Just in case you don't know, flanderization is the progressive exaggeration of a single trait of a fictional character until it overtakes everything else the character is going for them. Coincidentally, it's also the problem I mentioned with Jay in my Downfall of Jay video. And just like with that video, the beginning of this problem can be traced back to the 11 minute era. So you might be asking what was flanderized with Zayn. In Jay's case, they over exaggerated the childish side of the character. But as for Zayn, he's a robot. In his best season, Zayn had some amazingly dramatic stories about him trying to find his place in this world, the existential implications of being a hunk of metal, and his realization that his loved ones who took him in and always saw the best in him mean more to him than anything else in the world. In the newer seasons, however, Zayn's character just boils down to he's a robot, which is a huge shame to me because there's so much more to him than just that. It's especially a shame to see when the only aspect of him being a robot that the show does focus on is ways they can use him for comedy. Prime Empire, for example, arbitrarily excludes Zayn from the main plotline of the season on the sole basis that he's a robot for no reason other than to make the episode Ninjago Confidential possible. Now, in isolation, Ninjago Confidential is a fine episode. I enjoy the amount it pays tribute to film noir. I think the soundtrack is really neat, but whilst I do enjoy it, everything wrong with Zayn's character in Modern Ninjago can be traced back to this particular episode. Zayn's only focus in Prime Empire is using the fact that he's a robot to make detective jokes. He downloads hundreds of detective movies to his hard drive and uses his voice modulator to put on a funny voice. Prime Empire is a season that focuses on the idea that all AI are just as valid as actual humans, which, especially directly after the Ice Emperor story arc, would have been a perfect time to renew the show's focus on Zayn as a character. Instead, Zayn is arbitrarily excluded from the main plotline of the season on the basis that he's a robot and then is used as a vehicle for funny, quirky robot jokes. This also happens in Possession, but in Possession, we just came off of the best Zayn story arc we've ever had. And on top of that, this didn't become a trend. In Possession, it was a one-time thing, whereas Ninjago Confidential outright started a trend for how Zayn was written. If you want to split this gag up into Will Film versus Wild Brain, this gag happened once in Will Film's 10 seasons and three times in Wild Brain's five seasons. And it's just an unfortunate trend because Zayn is a super endearing character. He was a pretty universal favorite for people in those original seasons. And even now, after all of the flanderization and him not doing much, people still love this guy just for those first four seasons. Ninjago Seabound basically continues the Detective Zayn gag via the Pirate Zayn gag. I could give you a detailed explanation of why I'm not a fan of it, but I'll just be repeating what I was saying with the Detective Zayn one more or less. So it's best to move on to the next instance of this gag. And this is the one that really rolled me up and made me realize just how much Zayn has degraded as a character over the years. The episode from Crystallized, Return of the Ice Emperor. Now, when it came to people wanting to see Zayn's character expanded on again, people pretty much universally agreed that the best way to go about doing this within the 11 minute era would be to continue the Ice Emperor thread from season 11. Because there was so much potential to develop Zayn's character there and give fans an emotionally endearing Zayn story for the first time in years that the Ninjago producers never really capitalized on. This thread did end up getting addressed in a book and it was really good and it wasn't in the show. <laughs> so naturally, going into the crystallized episode Return of the Ice Emperor, people would be very excited for Zayn. It's going to be the first meaningful expansion of his character in years. I'm so excited to see what they do with this. It was just the quirky personalities gag again. They just switched out Detective for Ice Emperor. They're still just treating the tin can like a joke. What's wild about this episode is that Benefit of Grief, while a bit messy, is a good Zayn episode. They were gearing up to give Zayn some actual character work again, and then when they finally got to the point where they could really flex his character out, they just reverted what little progress they made with his character and just kept making him the butt of every joke. On top of all of the issues I have with dumbing down Zayn's character for this joke, we're getting to the point now where it's just really not funny anymore. Sure, it would have been funny as just a one-off thing or something that happened even twice, but it's just been so done to death now. Just let this joke go, please. You can only tell a joke again so many times before absolutely no one wants to hear it. It especially becomes a problem when you dumb down a fan-favorite Ninjago character specifically so you can run this joke into the ground. 
Zane's just a better character than this, and he deserves better than this. Thankfully, though, this isn't all doom and gloom. I know I said that about Jay and my downfall of Jay video, and basically all of the problems I had with him just got worse. But there are genuine clear-cut signs of improvement in Zane's character here. The first one is the episode of Dragon's Rising, Wildly Inappropriate, where Zane is literally confronted by the perception that all he is is a robot and nothing more, and does not want anything to do with it. Because obviously, Zane is way more than just a robot. Intentional or not, this episode feels like a very in-your-face meta commentary about Zane's characterization in the 11-minute seasons. And the conclusion that Zane comes to, being that he's obviously more than just a robot, really bodes well for the future of his characterization. The other reason I'm optimistic for the future of Zane's stories is that Doc Wyatt himself, one of the lead writers of Ninjago, the absolute madman, conceded that there is a problem with how Zane's been written in recent years, and actively wants to fix it. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! I'm so happy that fans and producers are in agreement that something is wrong with how Zane's being written at the minute, and I'm super excited to see how they're going to address these problems. Because at the end of the day, I really like Zane. I think he's a great character. And if this means we can finally get some great Zane content again, that would be wonderful. As far as what I would do to address fan criticism is bounce off of the wildly inappropriate Zane storyline and give him a full-blown emotional arc. Obviously, you can't give him a focus season anymore because that ship has very much sailed with the start of Dragon's Rising, but I think it is very possible to give him similar treatment to what Kai got in the first season of Dragon's Rising. Something akin to that, but for Zane, would be wonderful. And that's basically all I have to say about Zane. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on Zane's characterization in these recent seasons. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.